Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming by and checking these things out. I uh, wanted to do a quick kind of summary over the fundamental differences between sit-ins and sit-on-top kayaks. Um, why some people fear sit-ins versus why more people prefer the sit-on-tops. But uh, again, hope you enjoy the video and thanks again for tuning in, guys. Alrighty guys, so you've gone down the rabbit hole of YouTube videos, you've watched a ton of these things, you've done some research on the website, and you're still not really closer to really making that decision or learning anything else about it. So again, first and foremost, thank you so much for coming by here. That's why we're here, to inform you, to educate you. So today I'm going to go over the fundamental differences, just I'm going over the basic pros and cons of each type of kayak. So we're talking about sit-ins and sit-ons. So I'm going to focus on two kayaks here because they're very similar in makeup, but one of them has the obvious difference. Um, so sit-ins, let's go over the pros. So the pro over a sit-in, you know, a sit-in over a sit-on-top for one, you're going to enjoy the paddling experience a lot better. It's going to be faster. It's going to be more maneuverable. You're going to have that low center of gravity. You're almost sitting in the water uh, or on top of the water. So without getting wet, so to speak. So that's one thing. You feel like you have more control over the boat as well. I sit on top. Sit on tops are typically, and I say typically, going to be a lot more... Uh, maybe more, maybe a little bit more stable. They're going to be a lot more heavy typically. Um, so sit on tops have what they call scupper holes. So you'll see them. They're usually strategically placed. These are tubes that are molded into the kayak. So it allows water to drain back out underneath you on back to the water. Uh, so if you get a wave or, you know, uh, just kind of a surge going over you, yeah, it'll get you wet, but it'll, it'll drain right back underneath you. So that's the benefit of there. Um, the con of a sit on top is you're in the elements. So if it's raining, if the if it's really, really high heat and sun, you're out in it. You're baking. So definitely make sure you got some sunblock with you. Obviously, you still want sunblock with a sit-in, but you can buy spray skirts. You can buy covers to keep you out of the elements. Uh, it's really good for like winter paddling, off-season paddling, if you got some really, really rough rough terrain that you're paddling in and you want to keep that water out, your skirts are going to be really good for that. Um, you know, that's for white water, for wreck, for anything. Uh, you do collect water in here, so there's nowhere for that water to go but inside the kayak. That, I feel like, really... I feel like there's a really illogical fear of sit inside, sit inside kayaks from people that may not have uh, experience with a quality sit inside. Uh, now, again, I'm not saying the people that don't like them have never been in one, but when you're looking at a sit inside kayak, you really, really want to look for bulkheads. Some of them have multiple bulkheads, but this one here has got this little foam block. It's sealed with silicone around it. That segments your hull. So it allows you to store gear back there. If you get water in here, it's not going to run throughout your boat. Some of them will even have it in the nose as well. Not all of them. But it allows you, it, it helps in buoyancy. So say you do tip over and you're in big open water. It keeps that boat from swamping up, filling up, and then sinking to the bottom. It's going to allow you to maybe tag on to the edge of it, to kick it back to shore, to dump rinse and repeat, get back on the water. With the sit on tops, you don't really have to worry about that. So again, people tend to gravitate toward, especially your beginners, will gravitate toward the sit on tops. So your sit on tops, again, you're going to get a heavier kayak. You're going to get typically a slower moving kayak. The uh, reason being is you are sitting up higher and Typically, your sit-on-tops are going to be flatter on the bottom to account for that higher seat position. So they're going to make you feel a little bit more stable. You're going to feel a little bit more safe, if you will. But it doesn't mean that you are. So not all sit-on-tops are made alike. Not all sit-ins are made alike. So the, the thing that I'll leave you with here is make sure you're buying a U.S.-made roto-molded kayak you're going to get a better quality. You're going to pay slightly more depending on how high you go. There's sky's the limit on sit-ins just like they are set on tops. 
But again, it's going to depend on what kind of floating you're use, you're doing there. So if you are you wanting to be a little bit more adventurous, you may be looking at a playboat like a whitewater kayak. If you want to do slow moving rivers and streams, but you want something light that you can car top really easy, throw and go easy, and that you can really abuse, go with a recreational sit-in kayak. Now, if you want to sit on top, if you want to store gear on top, you want to stuff stuff inside of it, uh, you want a little bit more of a beginner friendly, your sit on tops are going to be a little bit better for that. But keep in mind, your sit on tops will come with that heavier weight. So always pay attention to your boat weight. Because again, if you're putting on top of a car, you're going to hate life a little bit on that. I'm just going to tell you right now, it doesn't matter if it's a cheap or a expensive one. The Tarpon 105 is really great because it is 55 pounds. But that's going to be, in my opinion, the bottom of what a, a quality sit on top is going to weigh when you get into that 10 foot and above range. Sit-ins, uh, the Aspire 105 here weighs 48 pounds. It's got a 400 pound max. So you have almost a hundred more pound weight capacity with the sit-in as you do the tarpon. And it's a lighter kayak. Now, typically your sit-in kayaks 48 pounds is probably on the heavier side for a sit-in kayak. Uh, you got the Joyride 10 up here. This is 52 pounds. So again, right around that 48 to 50 pound range, um, you get typically uh, a higher weight capacity because again, you are using a little bit more, uh, a little bit more plastic on that. But there's a lot of sit-ins that are going to weigh around that 50 and under range, you know, get into the mid-40s. I don't know that I would go further down below, probably 45 on the weights, because when you get really, really light, you're going to get into those kind of a flim what I'd call a flimsier, maybe even a disposable kayak. But again, if you want something that's going to paddle fast, when I say fast, I mean efficient. So if you're paddling a mile, they estimate a mile is going to be about a thousand paddle strokes on calm flat water. You're going to do a little bit less than that on a sit-in. You're going to, it's going to take you less paddle strokes to get there. A set on top, you may do a little bit more depending on the setup you got, depending on how that hull is designed. Again, so be prepared to work a little bit more with a set on top, but if that's no problem with you, you want something stable, you don't mind being out in the elements, Sit on tops are a really good way to go. If you want that pure paddle experience, you want to be one with the water, so to speak, your sit-ins are going to be a really good option. Just make sure you go a quality option too, though. So again, guys, just the basics. Again, lighter, faster, a uh, little bit more stable, but a little bit more heavy, maybe a little more sluggish in the water, depending on which uh, which kayak you go with. But anyways, I hope this helps out. Um, I know it's kind of the basics, kind of a summary there. Uh, obviously, they're not all the same, but I went with these two because they're very, very similar. They're made by the same company. They're the same length, but you can kind of see some differences there. Uh, but anyways, I hope you enjoy these videos. Thank you so much for the support. If you have any questions, if you have any pressing needs, anything else you want to know specifically about a sit-in that you're looking at or a sit on top that you're looking at and maybe what the difference is, let me know. Uh, you can email me, uh, thebeardedpaddler at gmail.com, or you can drop a, drop a question down in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I usually get back on those pretty quick. But thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.